Fabulous 103 FM with crew Fon at Thai Time. Good morning. สวัสดีค่ะ How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn today? About the word o'clock. We o'clock. Have diff- yes. Oh, your clocks are so difficult. <laughs> I know. We have oh. many, many words for o'clock. A- afternoon is by mong. By mong, correct. So that's that's one o'clock. Yes. That by song mong is two o'clock. Yes. By sam mong is three o'clock. Yes. By s e mong is four o'clock. By s e yes. But then you don't five o'clock changes, doesn't it? Ha mong yen. Ha mong yen. Yes. So we have mong mong is o'clock. We use that from six o'clock, six a.m. till like uh, noon. Mong. So, mong. It's hok mong. Seven o'clock in the morning. Jet mong. Okay. Bad mong. Till noon, and then afternoon we use by. By mong is one o'clock. By song, you right. But then after six we use tum. Tum. Yeah, หนึ่งทุ่ม Six o'clock. No, หนึ่ง is then we use that for seven p.m. Seven o'clock. Yes. Is หนึ่งทุ่ม Yes. Song tum is eight o'clock. Correct. Sam tum. This is complicated. Tum. Sam tum. 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 Sam tum is. I'm lost. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yes. Uh, C tum is ten o'clock. Yes. Ha tum is eleven o'clock. Yes. And then at midnight is. Um, <laughs> It's an odd one, isn't it? t i a n k u n t i a n k u n Yes. And then when it gets to one o'clock, correct. d i n u n g d i n u n g Then we use d i d i after one o'clock in the morning. Yes. Because people always say to me, "What time do you start work in the morning, Tommy?" And I would say, d i h a d i h a correct. And they all go, "You're crazy! Five o'clock in the morning." Yes. But I noticed that more and more Thai people use a 24 hour clock. Yes, They'll that's correct. They'll say by s i b e t m o n g สิบเอ็ดโมงหรือยี่สิบโมง so that's an easy way of doing isn't it yeah well ยี่สิบโมง we don't say it actually no? we say it like แปดโมงแปดโมง yeah. we said สองทุ่ม is ยี่สิบโมง it's very complicated <laughs> I think we'll stick with the original that we did today <laughs> but I think this is one that, now it's a good thing because you can go on YouTube and you can catch these again or you can go on our website alwayspatio.com because there's no way that you're going to remember How to do all the time just from one lesson today? Say ha. But if you go on alwayspatio.com, click on the Thai lesson, you can listen to it again and again and again until finally you understand it, and then you'll be doing a lot better than me. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>《I always wanted to say to her, why the long face? <laughs> right, <laughs> shall we play? Universally challenged? Yes. Only yes. a couple of days left before Megs goes, so yeah. this is the last couple of days. Oh yeah. Whitewashed been, last week. You've mm-hmm. been terrible the last couple of weeks because yeah. you've had uh, America on your mind. Mm. I uh, need to might, win this week. She might mention it a few times. If for those of <laughs> you who don't know, Megan is going to America. Yeah, yeah I'm going on holiday, you know. <laughs> Right, let's play University Challenge. Meg, you can go first. What's your buzzer going to be? I'm going on holiday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and your buzzer then? Viva Las Vegas. Mm. Viva Las Vegas, and I'm going on the holiday, you know. That, they are the buzzers. <laughs> Buzzing when you think you know the answer. Are you ready to play? Yes. yes. Okay, here we go. Monday mornings, Universally Challenged. Crazy about Messiah's mother. I'm going on holiday, you know. Yes. Oh, easy, easy. Madonna. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Congratulations! You're today's winner on Universally Challenged. Finally, she yes. gets yes. off to a win. Oh well done, Megs. Well, you go. Actually, oh, you can win this week, can't you? Because you can do Tuesday and Wednesday. Yes. And you're going on all down Thursday, yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah. going on holiday, oh, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, right. Did you mention it? <laughs> oh, we should have mentioned times. it, Megs. We didn't know. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, Wednesday's my last day. Hey. All right. Well done to Megs. Two weeks of 
pure bliss for me and you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'll no stilettos anywhere, me. no hair straighteners everywhere. <laughs> no, no eyelashes. No eyelashes, <laughs> no nail varnish <laughs> everywhere. The studio will be clean. And uh, we get a bit of peace and quiet. What me. I think we should do is bring a breakfast in every day while she's not here, like bacon <laughs> baguettes, <laughs> McDonald's, oh, and we'll take photos no. of it and send it to her in the US. <laughs> <laughs> do they have Greg's in the US? No, no. I don't think so. No. no. Sorry to disappoint you. Mm. Oh, look at your sad little fat face. <laughs> <laughs> not impressed. Sad little fat face. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Megan's off to a winning start this Monday. Well done to Thank you. you. All to play for this week. Your final week before you go on holiday. Let's see if you can go to America on a winning streak, eh? Yeah, I mean so. Universally challenged back tomorrow. Right, here is today's winner. Or today's clue, sorry. <laughs> it's Madonna on Fabulous Radio. A Chiang Mai man, along with another, has been arrested and charged with the brutal murder of two teachers in Rayong province. The 22-year-old is said to have met with them on the pretext of buying a big motorbike that advertised for sale. Instead, he slew them and stole the bike. He was caught as he planned a border crossing into Burma. Instead, now he's being transported back to the province to face charges. Both teachers were shot and then stabbed, and it's presumed that the attackers were under the influence of drugs. A global search request is due to be issued today via Interpol for a British man who, Patia police believe, was the Mr Big in a local drug dealing operation that saw two Australians and one Nigerian arrested last week. Christopher Depp has been named as a suspect after all three were questioned by police. Depp's thought to have fled the country but will be travelling on a British passport which can easily be traced. Recent raids have been carried out following statements made by buyers of drugs and with the cooperation of the Australian police, and more arrests are predicted for this week too. In a statement by Thai police, we're told that before the arrest, informants had told police that the Australians were working with the Nigerian as part of a large drug trafficking gang connected to a biker group and that they retailed ice to foreigners in the city. At a Lotbury fun fair, riders were thrown from a pirate-themed swing boat after a safety bar failed to be locked properly to keep them in their seats. At least six people were thrown from the ride. Paramedics moved all to the nearest hospital, but none were seriously injured. The ride, though, was closed down, and a safety review is due to be conducted of the whole fair today. Cold weather is predicted for much of Thailand this week. For the really cold stuff, take a trip to the north and northeast, where they're due to experience 10 degree drops, seeing some mountain areas getting as low as 2 degrees. In the Gulf, high waves are predicted and a reminder's out for the week that swimming in a non-marked area is dangerous in any region. Small boats too have been advised to remain on the shoreline. On Phuket, five Turks and a driver were injured when a minivan they were riding in was hit by a pickup in the Katu district. The mid-afternoon accident was quickly attended by police and medics. Three tourists were kept in for observation at a local hospital. Looking out at any of the major reservoirs around the country and you could be forgiven for thinking that they were mostly close to half full. But with the dry season here in just a few months, authorities are seriously concerned, reminding us that at least 20% of the water can't be pumped. You can't, we're told, simply empty a reservoir completely. It would collapse and a widespread drought is predicted for many areas in 2020, following this year's virtually non-existent monsoon seasons. Finally, well done, Patia City. The weekend international fireworks were a huge success, seeing the city rammed with traffic as all made towards the beach areas. Both Friday and Saturday saw spectacular displays, which were enhanced by a beautifully clear evening. And with the Met Office promising highs for Phuket of 31, dropping down to 25, rain much of your day. For Patia, a cold night at 22 degrees. With the daytime rising to just 32 and an overcast, that is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.
BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alastair Ross at BBC Sport and Leicester City are back up to second in the table, but they needed a last-minute goal cleared by VAR from Kalechi Iheanacho to beat Everton by two goals to one. The Nigerian had been flagged offside. VAR allowed it to stand. Iheanacho's first goal in what was his first game of the season. I'm happy and uh, um, I'll be waiting for the opportunity and it came today, so I'm happy. And uh, we've been working really hard in training and keeping my head up and hoping to get the chance. So I'm happy to that I got the chance and took it. It finished 2 all between Manchester United and Aston Villa at Old Trafford. Tyrone Ming's first Premier League goal helping to secure a point for the visitors and it stopped Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side from going fifth. The league table at this point is not the, the, um, the biggest uh, concern because uh, it's so tight. We, I just need to make sure that we get performances and get three or four performances after each other and results. Freddie Jungberg's first game as caretaker boss of Arsenal ended in a two-all draw at Norwich thanks to two goals for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Lundberg was pleased with how his team battled till the end. What was good about it is that uh, away from home in a difficult place and we've been at quite a hard place for, for a while with our results that the players, they had that uh, mental strength to come back and uh, equalise twice. That shows a lot of character and I'm very proud of them for that. It ended one all between Wolves and Sheffield United and bottom side Watford are looking for another manager, their third of the season after sacking Kike Sanchez-Flores, who lasted less than three months and won just once in 10 league games. For more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Things the British Embassy will never tell you. Part 1 Renting a bike is the nuts. It just is. And feeling that wind in your face as you fly through the roads on a big bike is even better. The freedom of the road is yours for the taking. And there are plenty of rental companies that won't ask to see a bike licence from your home country. Every year, the British consular teams work with hundreds of Brits who have bike accidents here. Some survive, some don't. Not having a license for the bike you rent can and will void all insurance cover, including your medical cover. Nothing worse than having the consular team calling your family and asking them to help you pay the hospital bills. Riding a bike is fun. Plan ahead, just make sure you have a bike license before renting. This advisory is neither sponsored nor endorsed by the British Embassy. No animals were harmed during production. It doesn't contain nuts and is suitable for vegans too. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am bringing you out here to the Silver Lake Vineyards. It's only about a 30 minutes drive out of Patia and wow, it is such a beautiful place. You can come here, you can walk through the vineyards, you can have a taste of their homemade wine and I guarantee you can get some really, really beautiful pictures. It is very picturesque, so come on, let's check it out. The Silver Lake Vineyard is located around a 20-minute drive from Pattaya City, next to Buddha Mountain, also known as Khao Jijan. Upon your arrival, you'll enter through the beautifully designed Italian-style building, which leads to an elevated terrace overlooking the vineyard, beautiful gardens and the lake. There's an optional vineyard tour on an electric tram. This way, you can sit back and relax whilst taking in the breathtaking views around the gardens. The Silver Lake Vineyard spread over a total of 600 rye. Therefore, it might be a little tiring to walk to all the different viewpoints. The tram will stop at several points throughout your trip, including the windmill and flower gardens, the greenhouses, the movie house and the winery. You'll 
also have the opportunity to stop by at the grape juice plant to experience the wine making process. The cost for this tour is only 100 baht per person, including a nice cold bottle of homemade grape juice after your journey ends. However, entrance to the vineyard is absolutely free. It is the first and only vineyard in the east of Thailand, established in 2002. A wonderful place to visit for a day out with the family. A perfect place to sit back and relax with a glass of delicious homemade wine whilst taking in the breathtaking views of the Silver Lake Vineyard. today and today I'm going to show you around a place called the Sanctuary of Truth and it's on Soy 12 off the main road between Pattaya and Naklua it's called Naklua Road and the first thing we've got to do is go and buy a ticket from here can I have a ticket please uh, the 500 back one thank you yeah for one person thank you thank you Oh look, there we are, the ticket. Where are you from? We've got the ticket. I'm from Manchester, where are you from? I'm from Thailand. Oh, that's very good. Okay, so that's what we've got now, we've got the ticket. I was here about 10 years ago, and I remember going over this bridge here, but it never had all this safety netting on it. No way you can fall off that now, but in the olden days, whoa, it was too dangerous. I got halfway across them, I did one, panicked. Now this wooden building here, right, was initiated by a man, local rich businessman called Mr. Leck, right, and up there, that's 105 metres high that, it was built in 1981 and it looks dead old doesn't it, and they reckon the finishing date is going to be about 2050. Right then, it's time to make our way down to the Sanctuary of Truth, the biggest wooden structure in Thailand. We've just got to go down here. Look at all these steps. Wow, it's like being in a jungle. Waterfalls and everything, look. Wow. Oh yeah, what's going on here then? Hello, how are you? Okay, what's that for? Uh, what? This is only for inside clean, just safety ah, for you, okay? Yeah, thank okay, you. thank you. Hey, look at that, village people. <laughs> See you later, boys. Bye, thank you. Bye. Look at this, it's like some of our James Bond. That's where the speedboats come in and out. Take you right round for a bit of a tour. Look at all those amazing carvings. Took years and years. All carved by hand, and there's no nails in there or screws or anything. It's all different types of wood joints, and it holds it all together. Yeah, somebody's working here now, just chipping away. They reckon it's not going to be finished until 2050. Wow. It's slow work, but it's regular work, isn't it? Because they know they've got a job till 2050. Hey! And the concept's from the uh, Buddhist and the Hindus. And it's all about the afterlife and the cycle of life. And it's all here to teach a story. Look. Hello! So, what do you come? All intricate work. This was one man's dream. So Mr. Leck, I salute you. Well done mate, 10 out of 10. Right, Mr. Wrong. Hey, trouble, trouble is strife. Hey, hey, sorrow, won't you be my wife?
Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here at the Hill Tribe Village Patia. Right here you can experience the real northern Thailand countryside. Right here in Patia there are many, many things to see and do. You can see the Long Neck Hill Tribe here. You can go on elephant rides. You can feed the crocodiles and go on horse rides. The list of the things that you get to see and do here is endless, you know. It's the perfect place to come if you want to see the real northern Thailand culture but not have to go right up to northern Thailand. You can see it right here in Pattaya. So come on, let's head inside and check it out. Located along the bypass road next to the railway line in South Pattaya is the recently opened Hill Tribe Village Pattaya. Here you'll be able to experience an elephant ride whilst taking in the beautiful views of the village. Elephants are the official national animal of Thailand and were previously used as a form of transport. You'll also be able to experience the Northern Thai traditional market where you can purchase handmade goods and even try on and purchase the Hill Tribe clothing and accessories. A horse carriage will then be waiting to take you to your next stop. The horse carriages are a tradition from Lampang City in the north of Thailand and are still used as a form of transport today. The most popular attraction is the Long Neck Village area. Here you'll be able to see for yourselves the Long Neck tribes, also known as Giraffe Women or Galiang originating from Burma and mostly residing in Me Hong Son in northern Thailand. Brass coils are worn around the neck and legs, beginning around the age of five years old, with more coils added every couple of years. The village is also home to a large crocodile pond, where you'll have the opportunity to feed the crocodiles yourself. The Hill Tribe Village Patia a wonderful day out and a great opportunity to learn more about Northern Thailand culture without having to leave Pattaya City. Mm -hmm. 